be taking a look at Donna Troy from DC Universe Classics. This figure was um, part of the Teen Titans. Um, you'll see she's wearing a red outfit with stars all over it. And she does have the Wonder Woman uh, logo here and the belt with a non-removable lasso. She does come with a base stand that says Wonder Woman on it. Which is nice. But as we look closer to the figure, we can see the level of detail that they have in here. Um, good detail in the hair. Um, hints of blue in there. Her wrist shields, or however you want to do those, um, same. They have a little blue and a star on them. Her boots. She does have peg holes in both of them. And there's the back. And so we'll see. Her hair here does allow a little bit of movement. Her, she really can do only a little bit up and down, um, left and right. She has a little bit of trouble because of the hair, but she can do a good T-pose rotation at the wrist and bicep, single bend, and you can only get it up that far where her elbow, her wrist does allow 360. She does have a little bit of an ab crunch and a waist swivel. Her legs have a lower thigh bend. Knee allows for that. And she can do up and down on her um, angles. So as we set her back on the stand, bring in hazmat suit Batman. And also bring in Duke. And we see that she does fit in better with the six inch line that they're currently doing for G.I. Joe Classics. Do a height and wet check on this figure. We see that she does come in at six ounces. And for a weight check, we'll see that she comes in at two ounces. So final thoughts on this uh, toy is definitely uh, part of the Teen Titans um, collection of figures. Donna Troy was uh, the Wonder Woman for that group and it's a nice representation here. It's a good size figure and articulation is not bad for being um, well geez going on over 10 years old. As always guys like subscribe and keep collecting.